Hey guys, so I hope you all had a good Christmas. I'm back with some more Angry Birds Go footage. We're going to look at some different carts and different characters today. And first up, we're going to get straight into the game with the blues. So, I'm taking the telepod and the blues cart and I'm bringing that cart into the game. You don't get to play as the blues characters unless you've beaten them in the game and then you get to use them. But what we do get to use is the blues cart on the rocky road track, which is kind of off-roady. Um, you need more robust carts to race in it. So we'll get down to the nitty gritty and have a little race with that. Here you can see we've got Stella in the cart. I am eventually learning all the names of these birds. By the end of these videos, I may know them all. Um, and then I'll be able to put Joe to shame. So, here I've got a little bit of cash, but not enough, unfortunately, to upgrade, as these upgrades cost quite a bit. Also, I believe they've made a few changes based on feedback to the game. So if we now go and look in the cart area, you can now see the prices of the carts. Very handy. Here you can see we've got a 50% off deal on the Tri Toaster, the name of this cart, the Blues cart. And the price is currently $6.99. Now, I don't know if that's the 50% off price or whether it's 50% off that price, but regardless, it's good to see the prices of the virtual versions of the carts in the game itself so that parents and children know how much they got to pay for that stuff. Now, I would say, if the price of this virtual cart is seven pounds, and knowing you can buy it in a pack of five carts physically for about 15 to 20 pounds, it still seems a little overpriced to me. If this is a 50% off price, then the original price is like 14 pounds, then for me that is way too much still. But to each their own, that is not my call, it's Rovio's call, and I'm sure they have lots of stats on who's paying for what and will reduce prices appropriately. At least you'd like to think so. Parents beware, just know what you're getting into in regards to in-app purchases, etc. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the action. That's what you're here for. Rosie, on Rocky Road, I'm going to go with medium difficulty. Let's see how we do. So, I am against the mustachioed pig. Might be the foreman, I'm not sure. Now, as you race off at the start, very important that you try to release the cart when the word go comes up. Which I haven't actually paid much attention to before, but if you don't do that, you end up, end up with your cart spinning all over the place and you get off to a really horrible start. Although if you're racing in quite a robust cart, the spinning is sometimes not necessarily a bad thing as you can do quite a bit of damage, I think, to your opponents. Anyway, here we go. Racing for coins, trying to pick up the coins, trying to stay in the lead. You've got one power up there, of course, for free. You can pay for more. Um, Stella's not my particular favourite bird because I'm not much into her power up. I do prefer Red with his boost. I find something far more handy, but I'm going to use her bubble here. And we're going to cruise across the finish line and hopefully finish it first. Boom! Even landing on the finish line. What a perfect landing, executed by the masterful driving ability of myself. Ooh, and a wonderful three stars. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't take me above my podcasting co-host, Michael, who is there with a, a nice score of 114,000. Darn it! But never mind. As you can see, you can also pay, I think, to get double coins forever, which is quite nice, allows you to upgrade your carts a lot quicker, etc. But I think I might have a little bit of money now to do an upgrade. So let's do that. So I could upgrade my top speed. I can't upgrade my acceleration, could go with handling, could go with strength. Mm. Now off-road you'd think maybe strength and handling, but I'm a bit of a speed freak. So we'll boost the speed of the cart. And for the next race, I'm going to go with red. I'm going to try it on hard difficulty, and we'll see how we get on. Now, I'm, I'm really enjoying 
Angry Birds Go. And in fact, I'm quite surprised at how well Rovio are doing with branching out with the brand, you know, taking it into the toy arena, taking it into karting games. I really thought Angry Birds as a whole was going to be a bit of a flash in the pan, but it really looks like it's got legs now. And it could very well be the Mario... Oh, oh and I screwed my start up there. The Mario of every kid's future now. So, like, kids today, growing up, Angry Birds is going to be their touch point for video games from their youth. You know, a lot of people my age, and uh, let's not go into my age, because it's... Uh, Oh, it's unfortunate. Um, a lot of kids, uh, people rather, adults, grown up to my age, probably think very fondly about Mario, and I think kids growing up are going to think equally fondly about Angry Birds. So it'll be interesting to see if Robio can keep that success going, the same kind of success that Nintendo have had, and maybe build the uh, brand and branch out into other games. I'm going to have to use my boost here. Foreman Pig is owning me, but. I might just be able to squeak in the lead. I'm in the lead. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Am I going to win in hard mode? I'm there. I'm there. I'm over the line in first. Beautiful stuff. But it's all because of that red power-up. His nitro boost really does make the difference. Same kind of score as I got in the last run. Uh, but I think if I'd have done that race with Stella, I just I had no chance. There's no chance I'd have won it. So there we go, that's the Tri-Toaster on the Rocky Road track with both Red and Stella. That's giving you a good look at that track. I think you can see it's, again, the environments are really nice, especially when you come to that end and you've got the trees and stuff. It looks really cool, I like the art style being used. Really, really funky. Um, I still have some issues around the in-app purchases with the game, but it's nice to see the developers taking information on board and kind of inserting it into the game, making changes, making updates. And I guess that's the benefit of uh, living in this app world, really. You know, it, yes, games on consoles and stuff get patches, but there's so much, so much, so many hoops that they need to go through to get those patches on, and they don't tend to be that frequent. Yet here, with apps, you get frequent updates all the time, um, allows developers to make changes really easily. And no doubt, they have stats up the wazoo onto who's paying for what and whether, you know, the pricing that they're using is is just about right for everybody. But the main thing is this game is free and you get a lot for free, really. Um, I'm having a blast with it. Joe's having a blast with it. I've even got it on the phone now on Android, so I'm playing there. Um, and, and really, I think it works on both platforms equally well. Still not dipped into the whole tilt mode for um, the uh, turning mechanism. I prefer the touch, I think. Uh, maybe stick with that. Anyway, I've got more carts for you in the future. We're going to look at Bubbles' cart, which is the orange bird. We've got Matilda, the white bird. We've got Bomb, the black bird. And we did blues today. So hopefully, I might also get a look at the Toys R Us special edition characters you can get. You can also get a five pack there, which contains a pure black version of Bomb, because the normal one has the white stripe. You can also get Terrence. I believe that's the only place you can get Terrence. So that's worth checking out too. So that's us for Angry Birds Go today. Stay tuned for more Angry Birds Go videos and check out the carts and the previous videos and comments on in-app purchases and all that kind of stuff. And let me know what you're thinking about the game, whether you're enjoying it, whether you've got any toys for Christmas, whether you're playing with those physical toys. Really keen to see what you think. Cheers, guys, and subscribe if you like the videos. Yeah.